just curious, how is how has your role changed in Paul Rhodes' defense? Uh, well, last year I was playing more hand in the ground, but this year they got me playing hand in the ground, but also off the ball a little bit. So I'm able to drop in coverage uh, and rush the passer and uh, keep the offense on their toes because they don't know if I'm coming or dropping. And w- when's the last time you've uh, <laughs> did any pass coverage as a football player? Uh, last year I did I did it a little bit, not much. So in certain situations I did it, but I haven't really done much of it. So it's kind of a new thing and something I'm still learning. What has it been like to work with Coach Boo? Uh, he's great. He knows a lot. He's been in college football a long time. So he, he works us really hard at practice and uh, makes sure we're out there early to get some extra work in. Any question we have, he answers it. So he's a great coach and I'm enjoying working with him so far. What are some specific uh, teaching points or coaching points that he often tries to emphasize to you and your teammates? Uh, physicality is a big one. He wants us to be physical. So we got to attack people. You can't play soft. If you play soft, you're not going to be on the field. So that's a big, important point he makes with us. And one more just about this subject. Um, what has it been like to have a coach who is exclusively devoted to your position? Uh, it's great. So we get a lot of one-on-one time. Uh, we move fast, though, so uh, it's high pace. But we get a lot of time with him. He gets to critique us individually. It's not like he has to go coach another position. So it's great. And there's a petition going around uh, to try to get the Pac-12 to allow friends and family to attend games. And I would imagine that that's something that you would be very much in favor of, particularly for the fact that your family would get to watch you and your brother play against each other. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on being able to have that possible the possibility? Uh, that would be great to have my parents in there. Uh, I, I really hope that goes through, but uh, I'm focused on playing football at the end of the day. I'm not really worried about that. So I got to perform either way, whether fans are allowed there or not. So uh, I'm just focused on that part. Do you, are, have you even thought of the concept of playing in front of an empty stadium and what that might feel like? Uh, it's going to be different for sure, but it's something we're going to have to get used to, and we got to perform at a high level still. You mentioned your role kind of on the field and how much that has changed, but what about off the field? Do you feel like you're kind of a, a role model or like a mentor to some of the other linebackers and some of the, the walk-ons and the newcomers? Yeah, we, we got a lot of young guys, so uh, I, I try my hardest to be a leader and show them uh, how things need to be done here. and. If we want to win, we got to play hard, and so we can't let anybody fall behind, and we got to bring everybody with us. Tell us about your um, your role and just your your point of view during your brother's recruitment, because a lot of people thought, you know, he was going to continue the the family legacy and go to Arizona, but he made the decision to go to Colorado. What was that experience like for you? Uh, I mean, I wanted him to come here. We we're very close, so I really tried to get him here, but. At the end of the day, he had to do what's best for him, and I I encouraged him to do that. So he felt Colorado was the best place for him to be. So uh, he's there right now working. Talk to him every day. And how did how did you find out he was going to Colorado? Uh, He told me. So uh, we all like sat down as a family. I was there at home, and he told us he wanted to go to Colorado. Like when you guys play each other on December fifth, who are your parents going to be rooting for that day? <laughs> they're going to be rooting for both of us, so they're they're going to hope both of us do good and want to see us both succeed. Are you looking forward to that date? Uh, yes, sir. I can't wait to play him. It. It's going to be fun. Um, so uh, you've got a lot of young guys in your group, as you mentioned. What can you tell us about Corbena Watson? Uh, He's a smart kid. He's working hard. He's uh, trying his best doing uh, what he needs to do to make sure he plays and make sure he's ready to play on the field. So uh, he's a great kid, and we're going to keep teaching him and uh, make him ready to play. Does he play the same position as you? Is there a difference between the two outside linebacker spots? Uh, Yes, he he plays more to the field, so I play boundary. And what's the difference between those two? Uh, Just that side's a little bit more covered covering so he has to do a little bit more covering than me got it anyone else in your in your group among young guys newcomers that's kind of stood out to you Uh, I think on the defensive side uh, Roy Lopez and DJ Martin have stuck out a lot so they're having uh, great practices so far and I like seeing them really work and do their thing what about on the offensive side has anyone stood out to you so far whether it's veterans or newcomers or either or uh, I say our, our quarterback Grant Gunnell, he he's playing great so far. So I'm really impressed with him, and I think he's going to be really great this year. Is there anything that's different about his game compared to I, the past? 
uh, I think he just he's just older, so uh, he has experience and he's ready to go now. So I'm ready for him to show out. Sure, you're going to play more snaps this year. I would venture to guess per game than you did a year ago. What did what have you done to prepare for that workload? Uh, I ran a lot, try to gain more weight, so make sure it's not bad weight. So uh, I've been working to stay in shape and make sure I'm strong and be able to do anything that's asked of me. We always ask you about your weight every time we talk to you because it's sort of been a topic of, of conversation since you've been here. Where are you at? A 260. Say it again? 260. 260. Wow. Okay. Is that, are you sort of proud of being able to get up to that, that level? Yeah, yeah. It was something I really didn't know if I, I'd be able to do and be able to play good at, but uh, it, it's working and uh, I'm enjoying it. So. What did you weigh in at when you first came in? Uh, 205. Wow. So uh, I think it's probably more than mom's mac and cheese, huh? <laughs> I had to cut down on it a little bit. I was starting to get too heavy, so <laughs> I had to cut down on it. <laughs> uh, you know, you had your, your teammates, Colin and, and Tony and, and Scotty and Kylan, you know, they decided to, to transfer this year. Was there any thought that, you know, I could possibly transfer as well? Uh, no, I, I believe in what we're doing here, and I believe it's going to work. So those guys had to make the decision they felt was best for them. So we're focused on who we have here, and we're going to make this thing work. 